struggle. I respected all the things that your families went through. So I asked them. I said, you call me a nigga now, what does that mean? He said, either I don't respect you, or I no longer fear you. So the thing that I ask everybody that's standing here right now, and we have to be honest, whether white, black, Latino, whatever you may be, if Trayvon Martin was white, would he be dead right now? He would not be. So the thing that I want to tell you guys, before we get emotional, before we march, before we rally, we have to figure out what is it do we get out of this sacrifice to make sure that this will never, ever happen again? Oscar Grant, Sean Bell, James Craig Anderson from Jackson, Mississippi was just ran over a year ago by a pickup truck with seven white kids in it. And although this is not about white and black, black kids are dying. So for me, it is about black. Whether we understand it or not. So, let me get to the paper. <laughs> to the family and friends of Trayvon White and Oscar Grant, I first want to say that far too many times when events like this take place, especially with tra tragic circumstances culminating in the death of those who are young, we often ask the simple question, why? It is in times like these that we have to hold on to the spiritual truth that God does not make mistakes. And though we may not understand God's rationale, we should always be reminded of his words that tell us all things work together for the good to them that love God. And to them who are called according to his purpose. We now see that God's purpose was to use those all too short lives of Trayvon and Austin to speak to us. But not just to us, to this nation. Using these tragedies, God has reminded us that with these circumstances and with these injustices comes a need for sacrifice. So I ask you, what are we now willing to sacrifice? Nelson Mandela sacrificed 27 years of freedom to help end the injustices of South Africa. What are we willing to sacrifice? Both Dr. King and Malcolm X willingly sacrificed themselves and their lives for freedom and justice for our people. What are we willing to sacrifice? Even the people, the very strong people of the occupied movements, sacrificed their comfort, their jobs, and their safety, and their freedom to protest for social injustice. What are we willing to sacrifice? Exactly. Are we willing to sacrifice our corporate sponsors so that our parents never have to mourn a senseless child's life again? Are we willing to sacrifice our endorsements to speak out against injustices? And in my case, am I willing to sacrifice the platinum hit? What are we willing to sacrifice? Are we willing to upset our close friends and associates by speaking the hard and necessary truths about this race-based society? What are we really prepared to sacrifice to serve God's purpose? And let me be clear on this point. Both Oscar Ray and Trayvon White are no longer with us in large part due to the color of their skin. But we have to be honest with ourselves and admit the certain realities in order to properly address the problem. Mm. This tragedy does not happen to white families. Why the people? We don't see black police beating, shooting, and killing innocent white teens. We just don't see that. We don't see them getting away with it. 
We certainly don't see black men randomly kill innocent white kids and not be arrested months. With their time. Or until there's a national outcry. In society, we have to be honest. Young and black is synonymous with criminal and violent. And in closing, I want to tell you guys this. The reason why it's a little bit different for me is because truthfully, black people are not aggressive to anyone on the face of this earth but themselves. Yeah, we might break into your car. <laughs> we might break into your house. <laughs> but we all know if we do anything to anybody besides ourselves, we're going to jail or die. And so, guys, I just want us to make sure that in all the things that we do that we have a purpose, let's not let this time pass. If we're going to march, we need goals. We need legislation. We need something tangible to make sure that America does one or two things, because we know America only respects two things. That's fear and finance. That's it. If we don't make them feel